Stay left. Oh, I bugged it up. How about that, folks? Can't quite there. <laughs> I just went like that. Nah. Good hey folks. Go folks, Pakira here, and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Uh, today we will be completing the Evergreen State Achievement as we knock off two uh, cities. We are taking a delivery of empty pallets from Walmart to Kenwick, and this is how we are going to do it. So we need to discover Yakima and Kenwick. So we've had to fast travel to Winatachi from Colwell so we could get a load uh, to Kenwick that would obviously allow me to bypass Yakima. Now, obviously, uh, the risk is I don't know for sure if it's going to unlock for us. Uh, I am going to make a change, though, so it's going to hopefully push us through um, this way just to make sure we do get Yakima. And that would be a bypass discovery, and then obviously Kenwick we should discover once we uh, get into these outskirts here and drop off the delivery. So our ETA, the trip time, is about just over four hours. It should take us about two and a half hours to get to roughly Yakima there. Um, so not a bad trip altogether. Like I said, we are hauling uh, empty pallets, 28,660 pounds worth. You can see all the information there at the bottom of the screen. So without further freddy ado, shall we have a look at the trailer and what we got there? Still got the pink ribbon uh, cab paint job. I'll get that changed when I remember to. Uh, may get that changed for Texas. Get a nice Texas style if I can, a Lone Star or something. But there we go, we're all parked up, ready to rock and roll. So let's hit the road. So we are here a little like a wow well, general store so we've got to kind of go through the car park here uh, but we should be good so I'm still running uh, like I said at the last episode of ATS uh, I have put my real store mods in uh, billboards and those uh, the up I have updated the mods list now so just have another look at have a look at that and you'll see uh, the completed mods i still have about two or three that are yet to be um tested and updated uh, i did mention that i'm probably going to leave those until after texas anyway um just makes it make sense and then we'll do that for you now in regards to texas at time of well I'm recording this on Sunday, so it's kind of like the next day after I recorded the last week's episode of ATS. And Texas is out. Um, and Texas will be out my time uh, in a couple of well, Wednesday morning, I think about 5 a.m. So it's a Tuesday release uh, for the pretty much uh, Europe and States, but it's about uh, a early Wednesday release here. So I probably won't be purchasing that until later on the week, but I did put a poll up on the, the channel. It's still there, but by the time um, this comes out, it will probably have, well, the results will be uh, what I have used anyway. The poll will still be there. Probably won't get it, uh, get rid of it, but um, yeah, the results will still be kind of showing. Um, and uh, the poll was asking, do we, with Texas being released, do we uh, put ETS on hold? Or do we keep the uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays for the separate games? I'll put up on the screen what the poll results are as of now um, at time of recording, which is kind of like just under 24 hours after actually putting that poll up. I think at the top of my head, uh, I only had like three votes yesterday, so it may not have changed much. But the odds are looking like it could uh, be... Uh, taking up both days a week, which is good because it does get through uh, things a bit quicker uh, for it. And with my still adjustment period at work, which I, I do feel is now stabilizing, the hours um, by I finish at like 4 30 in the afternoon in New Zealand, I still get home. I get home just after 5. I've noticed the last few days uh, I haven't had as much. Uh, tiredness i've been oh it was close a bit more energy levels so 
I think the possibilities are there going to be anyway. So yeah, but at the time of this comes out, you should already know anyway, most likely. Um, Iberia came out last week. Uh, now I am talking here, <laughs> kind of futuring last week. So for you, when you're watching this, it would have been last week. For me, it's this coming Thursday. But we did manage to we did manage to complete uh, the Iberia cruising Iberia um, achievement uh, conquistador so that's huge uh, so it's quite a good place I think uh, it was quite good timing uh, now with Texas coming out that we can probably utilize that Thursday for um, exploring more of Texas twice a week anyway and then come back and perhaps with a fresh idea for Europe Go, cool. all good there. We'll get back on the on the road, and we'll get going south. So one point four six is out. I just uh, we discussed that in the last episode. Went through the change log and everything. So I'm not going to really do that much this week at all, um, in this episode. So, but if you are playing one point four six, let me know where you will be. Uh, by this time this comes out, Texas would have been out for roughly about a week. So let me know down below what are your thoughts on Texas. Now obviously at this time I have yet to play because for me it hasn't come out. But the things about the future. So I can, I am almost like a week and a half ahead by the time of recording this for ATS. So let me know down below what your thoughts are on Texas. If you have played it yet, if you've, um, you know, well, obviously if you've played it you've bought it maybe you haven't bought it or played it maybe you're just um, doing it through other content creators uh, whether it's YouTube or stream or anything else let me know down below what your initial thoughts are on Texas I am looking forward to seeing it especially from those who are from Texas uh, glitch and all those others be interesting to see what your thoughts are regarding your kind of home state there get on to a little bit of the open road off the highway whoa buddy okay and we are taking what 97 south so speed limit 60 so we'll get up to the speed limit as uh, yeah and we'll hit uh, we're gonna go on down to an interchange it looks very nice beside us there a little bit of a river some nice scenic drives you know what it's been a while since we've done this i'm going to shut my trap and we will see how we go with a little bit of scenic scenery
right, so you hurry to slow down here, and then we'll turn right. It's been a while since I've done that. Probably put a little bit of music in there if I could, and we'll see how we go for the rest of the journey. Especially we're in a scenic area there, right? So turn right and read. I think I have to come to a nice complete stop. And then I can go. All right. So we'll get on the freeway there. We're about oh, a minute away. And then I'll probably go and just cut away. And we'll come back to you when we are closer to our destination. Alright folks, we are back, uh, we're not too far away now, we're just over a bridge here, I think, I'm, I'm, welcome to your Kima sign there on the left, big sign, you might, should have seen that, and we are getting into the city now, so we would have kept going, uh, stay left, oh I buggered it up, how about that folks, can't quite there, ah, uh, you know what? I did this in the last episode of ETS, and I can't even go through because they've put a damn barrier. So I'm going to go and get myself out of this pickle. See you soon. Okay, folks, we are back. We've done the UE. We've got... There's the train. We are definitely... Welcome to Yakima. <laughs> we are on the right track this time. Oh, didn't have to go far to turn around, to, thankfully. Um, just had to go towards... Uh, the uh, uh, like a freight yard and but before the and, and to turn there we just had we just well Yakima discovered Evergreen State 15 out of 16 there she is welcome to Yakima folks we are just bypassing this city today and getting her done so that's cool so down here obviously we could turn around there's a recruitment agency there to be discovered and I would say a well, there's looks yeah, and a dealership down there. You can see, I'm looking at my sat nav, by the way. Uh, so that's something to do for another day. Uh, but we have discovered Yakima, nice and d nicely done. So we're sitting here at the lights, just chilling, and have a cup of have a cup of tea, maybe a sip of our tea. General Mills, and let's get going. So let's pop out and let you have a look at Yakima. Well, it's Bells Fargo. I thought it was called Wells Fargo. Maybe that's just a change. Doug was talking to me. Go straight ahead, yeah. You can still hear the train. A lot of trains around this area. Bit of a built up, well, it's a nice centre. Oh, wow. Nice. Nicely done. Make sure we don't hit our mate here to the side of us. There's Walmart coming up. Have a burger. Burger King as well. Beauty. Got a Denny's. I love a good Denny's breakfast. Got to have the extras though. What's this truck doing? He's turning. Nice. Come again. Drive safely. Morning, Ramosh. Right. Time to listen to Doug. I'll get back on the freeway once we're back on the freeway in Holland. I will uh, cut away for a wee while because there's not much in the way of chitter chatter. Uh, I'm going to try and cut the, some of the needless jibber chatter <laughs> down. Um, I actually want to just say uh, at this time of recording today as well, Lyle, I don't know if you watch these vid videos, uh, but it was nice popping into your chilled uh, chat stream this morning on YouTube. Uh, absolutely brilliant, just having a yarn and a chat. I mean, I was just chilling in the background, waking up, <laughs> having my breakfast and stuff, but uh, really great job. 
Well, it was brilliant. You, you, uh, good conversation with everybody in the chat that you were having, discussing varying things around games especially. But yeah, keep that up. I look, look forward to seeing another one probably, um, for maybe for more longer for me. I had to dish off and get things done. Otherwise, I'll stay there all day and get nothing done. But yeah, uh, great job on that stream, by the way. All right. Kenny is about 55 miles away. You know what? This is looking nice and scenic. Let's jump out for a little bit of scenery, huh? It's been a while. All right, we're going to pull in for another weighing. We've already been weighed this uh, today uh, in the same states. So I'm not sure why we're being asked to do it twice. I always thought it was uh, once in the per state, but never mind. We are going to do what it's been asking us to do, and we're just going to come in here and weigh ourselves. Now we are doing a bit of an evening drive. It is like 20 or uh, well, five past eight in the afternoon here, or evening, I should say but i think we will be definitely getting there on time i think we should be nice it's nice still quite light out obviously it will suddenly get dark as it does once that sun dips down but we're not far away so we'll stick away but what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut away briefly here folks and we'll see you when we are closer to kenwood all right folks so we are just exiting here now As we approach and get into basically going into Kenwick as the Sun is now dipping down the light is fading so it should be quite good timing for us actually uh, that was big so just going over here and you can see in front of us sat and I if there is the city of Kenwick and we should hopefully be discovering it soon so we want to turn here Kenwick discovered the evergreen state unlocked, discovered, done and dusted. We have completed it. Nice. So Washington is all done for us. Yeah, folks, it's taken a while. I mean, it was something we didn't really, uh, we only just did after we've done a few cities. We didn't have to conquer many. Uh, but I just wanted, again, it's great to get these done and dusted out the way now. Uh, and we can just concentrate on Texas for a while and it's also i mean texas coming out it's a whole opening up a whole massive part of the state i, will, I need to get down there but i'm going to fast travel i'm going to utilize the most of that uh, i'm probably going to look at changing or buying a garage in texas as well got enough dosh for it uh, so we should be fine to do that so looking forward to it getting stuck in texas not sure where my base will be maybe austin or dallas probably or houston San Antonio, who knows? I'm looking forward to it actually. I won't have as much luxury time to explore like I used to, but I'm, I'm confident we can at least get something done for twice a week. So yeah, absolutely brilliant. Not sure how many states there, uh, cities there's gonna be. I think there will be a few. I did maybe around the same as Iberia, 50 odd if I recall. Uh, let's make sure we're not speeding here, folks. We've got a cr uh, train crossing up ahead. But yeah, our destination is just there. We've got little, less than a minute away. And you can see our destination on the sat nav. Anyway, as the sun is dipping below the horizon, this is beautifully timed. Couldn't have timed it any perfectly if I, did, if I wanted to. And also we've had Texas, uh, hidden rows, new viewpoints all sorts of fun and games so it's going to be great to have a look at all that
Thanks, bros. Cheers, buddy. You have arrived at your destination. All right, let's see where he wants us, huh? We're due for a cup soon. So a 90 around now, the, the last fiasco with uh, this parking, I'm not gonna just, I'm not gonna spend uh, my last, oh my goodness, with ATS. Oh, I'll fast forward to that a little bit. Goodness gracious, how long was that initially? So we're gonna just chill. We're gonna take it here as well. I do need to get some kip for the driver. Uh, and we are good. Let's turn off the engine parking brake on and decouple and we'll see you on the other side right there's the achievement folks and we have done and dusted this delivery not quite big and long enough for a upgrade but i think we should get that shortly anyway so uh yeah 400 4 dollars and a proficiency of just over 1100 dollars giving us 5694 us dollars and 376 xp very nicely done Okay, folks, well, I am done and dusted here. We will see you next time as we uh, approach Texas. I'm going to be fast traveling somewhere close to the Texas border, uh, get some kip and get all ready and freshed up so we can start exploring a Texas. So I know this has come out, uh, this episode will have come out uh, a week after Texas has been released, so I know, but this coming Thursday, if you're watching this on the Tuesday, for me it's like a two weeks, whatever. Hopefully, you'll see your first episode of Texas if I've got my A into G. Anyway, folks, thanks a lot for joining me. I want to thank you all of you for your ongoing, continued patience and support with this uh, adjustment period for work. Fingers crossed, I'm getting there. Uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, until next time, as always, I am Park Kira. Happy trucking. Take care of yourselves and each other. Kia kaha. Thank you.